Hello dear friends welcome to Shiksha Mantra and when you have reached this discussion obviously you have learned something regarding adverbs and adverbials if you haven't learned about adverbs and adverbials we have several discussions on them the last discussion that we have on adverbs versus adverbials i am putting the link in the i button above from where you may check it so there in very details we have discussed what is adverb and what is adverbials how are they different and why there are so very importance to learn the adverbs and the adverbials in so detail and in that discussion just uh, let me recap a bit so that uh, you can relate things together there we have said all adverbs are adverbials but all adverbials aren't adverbs so simply we may conclude that the adverbs and the adverbials are similar as well as different why and in which places are they similar they are similar in their functions in their uses but they aren't similar in their formation so here if we conclude what we mean the fact is adverbs and adverbials if we consider them adverbs and adverbials what we have said these adverbs and adverbials they are similar from where they are similar they are similar in their functions that's why when the adverbials some uh, prepositional phrase or some uh, uh, infinitive phrase they are used in a sentence with the function of an adverbs they are called adverbials but they had their differences now how are they different they are different in their forms so just remember these two f's these two f2 factors so here we have f2 factors functions and forms functions are similar but forms are different so what are the forms we have discussed it in our previous discussion in adverbs and adverbials and there you may find all the details how the adverbials are formed with prepositional phrases or with uh, infinitive phrases and also by adding an intensifier with an adjective but here today we are going to discuss about the functions yes dear friends adverbs the functions they share are very much like the functions that the adverbials share as well so whenever we talk of adverbs we have to remember a very simple thing that most of our students i have found them the mistake these things they always try to learn difficult things difficult names or uncommon things and they consider if i know these uncommon things i have a great knowledge on english grammar but the fact is quite contrary to what they think the fact is you have to learn the simple things first when you learn the simple things all the other things which normally we consider as something complex or something tough something difficult you will find them to be very easy yes dear friends that's the fact there we lack so what you have to do you have to learn adverbs first without learning adverbs properly if you try to learn adverbials it would be difficult for you adverbials would be very very tough for you just believe me learn the adverbs well and the functions of the adverbials are just as easy as nothing so let's uh, begin our discussion 
regarding the functions of adverbials how we get the adverbials date but before we start it's time for the intro after the intro let's begin the different types of adverbials that we get so these are the different types of adverbials and uh, we'd begin with the adverbials of time have you found some similarity yes dear friends you have learned adverbs of time and here we would learn adverbials of times just like adverbs of time they also describe when something happens so let's have an example we must walk a mile in the morning here if we consider in the morning this particular prepositional phrase and if we ask we must walk a mile when when the answer is in the morning so this suggests time so this is adverbials of time just like adverbs of time that's why i have told you you have to be very very cautious about the simple things if you learn adverbs properly adverbials are very easy and here we have what the second of them and that is adverbials of place yes dear friends place so it will talk of where describe where something happens there's an example put the bag right here right here just uh, look at this phrase this particular phrase right here so what happens here it speaks of why we are we are to put the bag so the verb put but we are right here so this is adverb this is used like adverbs of places that's why we consider it as adverbial of places very much like that of the adverbs i'm repeating first learn adverbs properly and you would find adverbials easier and here's our third point adverbials of manner yes dear friend manner so when it's manner obviously it would answer how how something happens it would describe how something happens he sat in silence so how did he shit the answer is in silence so it's used as an adverb but this is a propositional phrase that means this is adverbials and would consider it as adverbials of manner yes dear friends it's very simple it speaks of manner just find the proper phrase and then ask how if you get the answer it's adverbial of manner as you have learned it about adverbs of manner and here comes what here comes our fourth rules adverbs of reason yes dear friends you have learned adverbials of reason we have already learned about adverbs of reason or uh, in adverb clauses adverbial clauses of reason let me clear one thing here whenever i'm saying adverbials of reasons it includes phrases as well as clauses so it describes what it describes reason that means why describe why something happens here's a question uh, here's an example he went to the island obviously he had a reason to go there and what's the reason to find gold so this particular phrase it speaks of a reason it's it's an infinitive phrase and it speaks of a reason so obviously this is adverbials of reason and then comes what then comes the fifth one and the fifth one is adverbials of frequency yes dear friends frequency though it's time related so what he says it describes how often something happens so there in time we have learned how when in manner how but in frequency it answers how often we used to visit the church every other sunday so how often we used to visit the church the answer is every other sunday 
So this is an adverbial and more than that, this adverbial speaks of frequency. So this is adverbials of frequency. And the next one that we have here is obviously adverbials of degree and it's very, very vital. Let me tell you very clearly this adverbials of degree is very, very vital. It's related to degrees of comparison. So it describes what? It describes the intensity of the action. It describes the intensity. How? Just have a look at the examples. The bride was really quite lovely. Lovely. This is sufficient. And we have added quite lovely. And again, to make it more intense, we are using really quite lovely. So really quite lovely, it actually describes the degree, the intensity of her beauty. So this is adverbial of degree. And here we have another construction. Alia plays chess as well as Sanya. Alia plays chess as well as Sanya. So there is a comparison, but it's a degree with an adverb as adverb as we have a very detailed detailed types of different types of constructions for the degrees of comparison we have to follow some very uh, very much designed very much well known constructions regarding degrees of comparison for adjectives and for adverbs if you really want a detailed discussion on the formation of degrees of comparison do write me here in the comment section below and i would create i would discuss in detail about the formats of degrees of comparisons how they are formed which which formats are used there which constructions to be followed so if you really demand this just write it down in the comment section i would return with such a video where we'll have a detailed discussion on what to do where to do and how to do degrees of comparison whatever it may be for adverbials of degree what you have to remember that you could form these sentences by following these two methods there's many others so these are the different functions and formations of adverbials of degree so we are almost uh, in a very uh, keen portion of our discussion of degrees of comparison. But I won't stop here. I will try to find out whether you have really understood the modifiers. Okay. So first would write a sentence that is without modifier without modifier would write a sentence and the sentence is it's very simple just let me write a very simple sentence sonia sings so this is the first sentence we have produced and here we haven't used any modifier there's only the subject and the verb. Just try to find out how adverbs help. And let me declare here, our next video would be why we should learn adverbs and adverbials. Most of the times our students don't find out what's the, what's the real reason behind learning adverbs and adverbials. Why should we learn them? So our next discussion would be on that topic very soon we'd upload this discussion and this is the base of that discussion so follow this discussion well it would help you a lot so without modifier we have used such a sentence now we are writing down another sentence with adverb so how the sentence will be will write here sonia sings we have several options we may write down sonia sings well 
और सोनिया सिंग्स ब्यूटिफुली सो हियर वी हैव यूज्ड एन एडवर्व वी हैव यूज्ड एन एडवर्व द सब्जेक्ट एंड द वर्व रिमेन्स द सेम so if you follow this we will get one thing very simple that our discussion is very much very much related to the formation of sentences with adverbs that's how we can add extra information with our basic constructions and then we may write another sentence with adverbials just follow these three sentences and you would understand what we have to do while forming sentences so here we may write sonia sings we are using the same verb and the same subject like a sweet singing bird so dear students just have a look sonia sings what we have done here we have used the same subject and the same verb we haven't changed either the subject or the verb but only we have added a long adverbial with this sentence like a sweet singing bird making a comparison yes dear friends this is how you can use adverbs and adverbials to modify your basic sentence just just have a close look at it just have a very close look at the sentence we have started with this simple construction sonia sings now you will learn how to modify your sentence how to make modulation to your sentence how to make your sentences more expressive more beautiful and more attractive we are using the same construction sonia sings now we say sonia sings well or sonia sings beautifully that means these words they are actually modifying this verb so they are adverbs they are adding some sense to our sentences to what we have produced and when we want to produce a more decorative sentences with much modulation what will do the same sentence sonia sings would be added with like a sweet singing bird so we have added adverbials we have added adverb phrases and also you have adverb clauses so this is how you can decorate your sentences by using different types of adverbials and obviously adverbs but it's all it's all and i'm repeating it's all are uh, related it all depends on what you want what is your requirement so first know your requirement and then learn how to fulfill your requirements by using adverbs or adverbials in your sentences and you can produce sentences successfully don't go after produce sentences with very straight forwardness sometimes it demands but most of the time you have to manage those straight forward sentences with such modulation so where adverbs and adverbials will be of much help and here i have to conclude if you really liked this discussion if this discussion is really very very impressive so here i would like to tell you to stay with us by subscribing this channel and also by pressing the bell notification bell icon so that you get the notifications we are returning very soon with another such such impressive video in this channel shiksha mantra until then bye bye happy learning